okay y'all so i'm back with the uh part two of story time i'm not gonna go ahead and continue the story time okay y'all so i'm sorry i had to change because my room started to get cold due to the you know this fall weather is coming in so yes let me get back into the story time okay so i'm pretty sure that i had left off that i know that y'all was like literally wondering that why i wasn't trying to be mature or you know be adult of the situation so as I stated in my previously story time, I will always to hold everything and to keep the peace. Like I wasn't even trying to like do no like you know like my mom was not sitting right here trying to be petty and nothing like that. But it was just like when I went back and told my dad, can he tell Fat Fat like not to like turn on the AC because I was sick? I don't know if my dad went back and told her, but if he did, she did the opposite. Like I said, she just kept like doing the pettiness. So. I was really, like, really, really sick. Like, I ain't gonna hold y'all. I feel like I was, like, I had COVID. Like, I was really feel like I was, I was, I feel like I was dying. Like, I don't know what type of sickness that I had. But, yeah. So, um, one day I had woke up out of my room. Um, and then I had woke, I woke up out of my bed. And so, I had looked at the AC. Sometimes the AC would be, like, 62 degrees. And sometimes it would be below. Meaning, like, it would be, like, somewhere in 50 degrees. So the next thing you know, I would turn her off. She would wake up or at her room and then she would turn the AC back off. So me and her, we would just sit right here and just keep playing with the AC game. So I turn her off, she turn her on, I turn her off, she turn her off. So it was just like making me mad. Like that's when I'm just like boom. I'm like, I'm at this point, I'm fed up. So next thing you know, and next day, I believe that she had got off work early and my dad, he didn't he didn't work, you know, at that day. At that yeah, that day he didn't work. So she got off um, home early or whatever. She got off work early. So yeah, still the same thing, but yeah. So she got off work early and so she had came home. So her and my dad had a conversation for like a little five minutes. So she gonna end up turning to the hate, like having an AC conversation. I was in my room, I'm vibing. Like I don't have like no music, no, my TV wasn't on anything like that. Like at this point, I'm just sitting on the bed and doing my work, like catching up on my homework. So she really gonna talk about, um, she was like, who keep putting the AC on 50 degrees? Like, that's why the AC is not working because someone keep playing with the AC. So, I already know who she was talking to. Like, she kept, like, trying to be petty. So, when I heard she said that, I heard it came my room. Y'all, when I tell y'all, when I, she see me came my room, she hurry up and rushed in her room. Like, she hurry up just went in her room and she ended up shutting the door right behind her. I'm just like, girl, are you scared or what? Like, how do you sit right here and just always want to trying to throw shots and want to be petty like i don't get that for number one two like i said when her boyfriend don't be around her she just scary she just be on her shell but when her boyfriend her friends be around her she want to be like oh yeah i'm i'm about it now so what's good what's like no girl you're not so pipe down humble yourself we're just talking about it and so you just told me let me let it go and i said okay because i said she said right here want to play victim knowing that she put the um AC on 50 degrees because I was sick. I'm not stupid. So the next day, you know, it was just to the point that I was just fed up. So I say um later on down, I say somewhere around like the close to the end of August. I just started to realize that clothes just started walking out of my closet. Me like my jeans, like basically, basically like pants just started walking out of my closet. I don't know if every time when I be leaving the house, she be coming to my room and just be taking like my clothes or when I be in the shower or taking a bath, she be coming to my room and be taking my pants. And had I noticed because one day I was screaming around the house like, have you seen my pants? Have you seen my pants? Me and her, we were still not cool with anything like that because me and her, I don't have to say nothing to her. I came out, she came out her room, like, putting her hair in a ponytail, and I'm seeing the same kind of pants that I'm over here screaming yelling at. Like, it was dark, it was, like, jeans, it was rips and everything. So, I'm just staring, I'm just, like, I know that's not my pants. Like, I was literally just staring at the pants for five minutes. So, I'm just like, you know what, you can have it. I can just buy me another one. Like, I'm good on that. I don't want nothing what you got, girl. I, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Like... I don't even know you. So you might probably end up trying to do voodoo on me. You can have it. Cool. I'll buy me another one. So that was just to the point that it was my breaking point. So now I end up taking, start doing my Instagram fingers or whatever. I, I seen a quote on Twitter. Um, Please, you know, wash your dishes after yourself because it's not that hard. So I, in my last privacy story time, I told y'all that Fat Fat and her boyfriend do not like cleaning after they sell. Like they don't like washing dishes they don't like to clean nothing like that like me and my brother and my dad we was always the one cleaning after them 
So I end up when I seen the um quote, I said, "Oh snap!" I snap. I snap. I, I, I took a screenshot and I posted on my story. Mind y'all, Fat Fat was still following me at that time. So um, I post the um quote on my story. Man, when I tell y'all, Fat Fat went downstairs in two point five seconds and started washing her dishes. I'm just like. Girl, I know you did not just let me punk you out like that. But you about it, right? I know you did not just sit here and just let me punk you out like that. And it was just so funny to me because I'm just like, girl, if I was you, I was just like, oh, since you still want to throw jazz, you want to be petty now? Oh, okay, I'm going to have you, your brother, and I'm going to have your dad to keep continue to clean up after me and my man. That's exactly how it would be. That's how exactly how it would be. I, I wouldn't not care. If I see that somebody's sitting right here and want to throw shots and jabs at me, I would sit right here and say that that's going to be my response. So she went downstairs and started cleaning them dishes. And she started taking them dishes in her room. So the dishes that was like me, my dad, and my brother, I went up and started taking, I went downstairs and started taking the dishes upstairs in my room. I'm like, okay, you want to keep being petty? We both going to keep being petty. Because, like, girl, it's not going to get nowhere. So you might as well just, I don't care at this point. I'm, I'm done. So the next thing you know, so uh, later on that day, I ended up making me a spam. I ain't going to hold y'all. Me making the spam was not me to sit right here and want to talk about this girl. It was not attention to, like, you know, not say anything about the girl. Because if I'm not cool with you, I'm not going to sit right here and I'm not just going to talk about you. Because, like, I'm not obsessed with you. I'm not definitely not going to kiss your butt. I ain't none of that. Okay? So, I made me a spam or whatever. So, I had promote my spam on my main story. Fat Fat, my job, Fat Fat was still following me. So, Later on that day, um, I told, like, I was like, yeah, um, go ahead and follow my spam, yada, yada, yada. So, I know the people who follow me, and I know some people who don't follow me. So, um, everybody just started following me. You know, like, people on my followers, that who I know, they just started following me. So, I started accepting everybody and yada, yada, yada. Next thing you know, I said, like, one hour or two hours later, Fat Fat having her friend to, you know, follow my spam. So, I'm just like... This page seemed very unfamiliar, so let me just go ahead and start doing my my investigation. So I'm over here doing my my investigation. I'm over here going to Fat Fat, you know, Fat Fat uh profile. Mind y'all, I'm not even following Fat Fat. Like I was never following Fat Fat. Ever since like, my ex boyfriend had hacked my um my Queen My page, I never I, um my main page. I was never um following Fat Fat after that because she would sit right here and she would blame stuff on me and my brother and not trying to come to us as a woman about like we was eating her biscuits and it was just it was the reason why I didn't follow her because like she would go to my dad and was like lied on us about that we was eating everything up of hers but turn around she would sit right here and follow me on Instagram or you know that's how she was she would just sit right here watching my stories or follow me on Instagram I'm like that's fake because when she went back and told my dad that I was so called eating her biscuits I was like what biscuits and it was making me mad so I'm just like okay like you're not coming to us as a woman so okay cool so um next thing you know she ended up following me on Instagram so I was never following her back so yeah so that fat ended up following me on Instagram and so, uh, well, she was been following me on Instagram. I'm sorry, y'all. But, yeah, she was been following me on Instagram. But I was never following her back. So, I ended up going on Fat Fat, um, Fat Fat page. And then I was, like, looking on her following. So, I started typing a girl name in that who was following Fat Fat. And so, I seen the um, Fat Fat friend um, main account. So, I'm just like, okay, I got to dig a little deeper. So, I clicked on her page. And then I went on her followings. And I started typing a name that was following my account. And then, Boom! Same girl that who was following my fat fat, it was basically, you know, fat fat friend. So I'm just like, girl, I'm just like, you always screaming, we're mature, we're this, we're that, we're grown, we're this, we're that. And you're still being childish, you're still putting immature moves. I'm just like, this bitch is too fucking old to be acting like this. This bitch is almost 20 and still act like a little bitch. Like, that's what it's really given. Like, what you stalking me for, but you don't like me. You want to watch every move that I make because why? Come on now. So let me go ahead and help you. So then next thing you know, I just say, you know what? Should she want to like be a stalker? Like what are you stalking me for? So I accept her and my spam or whatever. And so I'm just like, what am I doing? Like why? Why? Just why? Like at this point, like this is not getting, this is not getting nowhere. So I end up starting doing my Instagram fingers or whatever. So I was just like... Um, if you don't like me, don't be having your friends watching my 
spam yeah 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 i said um if you want to see what was going on here i was like you could have requested your dang self in here and i said female would sit right here and be screaming we're grown we're this and we're that but still pulling immature moves and i was just like grow up and i said for the sake of my peace um you know if you i don't know it was some a bunch of stuff but i know that it, it made her shut up yada 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 so then um i was like just say that you're scared and so um, i had posted on my story so i saw that the next day i'm pretty sure the same night that her friend ended up screenshotting my pay my post and she sent it to fat fat the next day i had went on instagram i seen that somebody following me so i looked on fat fat page and it said she was gonna follow me i was like yeah 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 claim that you're about it but literally just shut you up like that was just mm -hmm. so yeah so then next thing you know i'm pretty sure i'm just go ahead and jump down to september 1st because that's what i believe that's when all the drama and all the fights are going on okay y'all so on september 1st that's when all like the fights that's where all the drama happened okay so me and my dad and my brother we had came back home for t-mobile so fat fat and skeleton were dressed they was already at home ain't no telling they was plotting or anything like that so my dad went upstairs in his room i was in my room and my brother was already stayed downstairs so i left my room to be downstairs and have a conversation with my brother not even five seconds fat fat over here yelling downstairs talking about who put my rag in the trash can who put my rag in the trash can so i didn't even listen to her i was on my phone because like if i don't like you i'm not gonna give you a response or anything like that because it seemed like she was looking for drama you was looking for a reaction out of me so i'm not gonna give that to you so that fat was sitting right here talking about my job she gonna ask my brother one time did, did you put my rag in the trash can he gonna talk he said no so she ended up looking at me talking about did you put my rag in the trash can i didn't know her i knew exactly who she was talking to and did you i have a name so she gonna talk about jamai did you put my rag in the trash can i said no so she gonna talk about well it's just so funny how the rag is in the trash can so like who put my rag in the trash can i said i don't know but i know i didn't so so she was like okay well uh it's just so funny like the rag is a trash can so you don't know who put my rag in the trash can so i said no so she was like so who put the rag in the trash can so it's just to the point that i had snelt because it was like at the end of the day you're still trying to act like you're my mom for number one after i told her constantly times i do not like people when they talk to me like they like my mother i did not came out your stomach i almost definitely came out your vagina so don't sit right here and talk to me like you really gave birth to me because knowing girl that you didn't so and say so, you know i ain't no stepping on her i said girl shut the elf up and get out of my face and so i was like dang like, i just told you multiple time to put the rag in the trash can when i said that she didn't even say nothing she was shocked like she had a rag i'm gonna just say this is a rag i'm gonna say this is a rag so she looked at me with a cringe look with the rag in her hand she was just like so i was just like yeah just shut you up then now like girl like humble yourself down like i told you multiple times i didn't put a rag in the trash can why do you keep asking me that and you only asked my brother one time why ask me fifty thousand times because you was looking for drama you know what you was doing so yeah so then she didn't even say nothing when she was downstairs so i guess that skeleton with jazz had came out the room i don't know if i was that loud to tear her shut the up up get out of my face yada 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 so the next thing you know she started going upstairs talking about watch your mouth love watch your mouth and so i was just, i looked at my brother i was just like i already know it's gonna be a problem so i was just like nah because i told you multiple times i didn't put the rag in the trash can so don't sit right here trying to keep asking me like you're my mother because i told you that i didn't put the rag in the trash can so she was going upstairs popping real strong because skeleton with dress came out the room and so i started i was like you know what i fall right behind her me and her we started going back and forth whatever First thing you know, I see my dad running out his room. Like he come out his room. So my dad standing right between me and Fat Fat, yada yada yada. So she's still right behind my dad, popping the real strong. She's just doing all this. All this. So I'm I'm just looking at my brother. I'm just like, brother, I said this it's gonna be a problem. So I'm not even saying no to her. She just keep like popping it strong. So it was just to the point that I got to my breaking point. I I know I swing on her my left arm. I said, boop. She didn't even do nothing. I don't think my head connected her, but I think I I want I was like really on her head, like I wanted her. I don't think my head, I don't think I hit her, but I think I did. I don't know, cause I felt I don't know, I don't know what I felt, but I think I hit. I don't know. I don't know. I, mm, I'm, I'm I'm sorry. I ain't trying to confuse y'all anything, but I'm pretty sure that I hit her, but I I just said boop. So next thing you know, she didn't even do nothing. Like she was standing behind, still standing behind my dad, 
right in front of her boyfriend, she did not do nothing. I'm like, girl, you're so embarrassing. Because I don't care. If you trying to swing on me, girl, I'm going to try to swing on you back. I'm not going to sit right here and finna still stay behind by my dad. Like, you, he, you know, security card, like your bodyguard. Girl, by your whack. So, next thing you know, she's still standing behind my dad, popping all her mess. So, I'm just like, me and her, we started going back and forth for a little bit. But I'm just like, why am I even arguing with her? Because, girl, you arguing for what? I'm not going to argue with you. Either, like, beat me up or shut up, like, at this point. So, the next thing you know, she's still doing all the rah -rah behind my dad. So, I looked at the uh, Febreze spray, and I threw it at her. So, she going to tell us, ah! We don't ish now. And so I started laughing because it was embarrassing. I'm just like, yeah, because you're not doing anything. But you're sitting right here popping behind my dad. So next thing you know, she started jumping behind my dad. Like she said, say yo or something like that. So she over here jumping behind my dad. And so my brother over here pushing me down to the stairs or whatever. So she's talking about, you running? What you running for? You running? And so I'm just like, girl, I'm not running. I said, for one, my brother's pushing me downstairs. And I said, I'm most definitely not going to die on the stairs because of you or him. Me and you, you not finna fight on the stairs and me gonna be rolling downstairs. I'm finna down the stairs because of you, girl. Bye. So that's that you know, uh, I started airing her out, and so I was just like, girl, I said, and that's the last time I checked, you over here getting your friends over here stalking my um, my Instagram. What you have your friends um, watching my spam for? When I say that, she didn't even say nothing because she knew that she was getting embarrassing or whatever. So, um, she was over here looking at me like, what you talking about? Like, yada, yada, yada. So, she was like, she was shocked. Like, she didn't even say nothing. But next thing you know, she ended up like, sound like she was about to cry. So, she was like, Jemaya is wrong. Like, Jemaya be sitting right here and be posting a lot of stuff about me on social media. Um, she sitting right here and be like, you know, being petty. She be playing with the AC. Like, I'm getting tired of Jemaya. I don't want to be here no more because the thing that she do, like, I'm so tired. Jermaine, Jermaine is wrong. So she had her little, you know, her little mental breakdown. So I, I was literally laughing right in front of her, like, because it was just so funny because I'm just like, girl, you're playing victim and that's what I don't like. But number one, two, like you were not just playing with the AC too. I told my dad to tell you to stop playing, like stop messing with the AC because I was sick. Three, um, I post anything what I want on my social media for number one. Two, only thing what I said about you is was go down there and wash your dishes. And you went downstairs like a good dog and start washing dishes. That's the only thing I said about you. Now, quote, I can post about anything that's or like I agreed to. But if you think I was talking about you, then maybe the shoe might probably fit. Because, baby girl, I wasn't even saying nothing about you. The only thing I said about you was about go downstairs and wash them dishes. Uh, that's the only thing I said about you. I'm not sorry. Spitz cup, girl, I'm not even worried about you. You're sounding pathetic. You the one who worried about me because you the one who got your friends to stalk my Instagram pages. Like, you're weird. So, yeah. And she was just having her little mental breakdown, yada, yada, yada. So, I was just laughing right in front of her because it was just like, girl, like, you're over it. Like, you sit my hair, you be starting a lot of stuff too. But when I'm over here, don't give you the same energy in the move. Like, it's a problem. So... It's cool when she do it. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck her. But yeah. So, moving on. So yeah, so next thing you know, me and her, we're still going back and forth. I'm like, girl, shut up. Come on, bro. Come on. I'm not tired of you. Like, you're you're about to, like, you're playing victim too much. Come on. So she goes, about, she been playing with the AC. She always talking stuff about me. Like, Jemaya is gone. She just need to handle her things her own. So I'm just like, okay. Come here so I can handle you myself. Like, you're a, you think you're a body. So the next thing you know, she was talking about, but you're running, you're running. I said, but my brother is pushing me down. And I was at the last, I was like literally on the floor while she was still on the stairs. So I was like, come on, girl, you have time. You have time. I'm going to let you have the time to stay on the floor so me and you can go ahead and just fight it out. So come on. So the next thing you know, like, my brother, my dad and my brother started pushing me outside. So the neighbor just started coming outside because how loud I was. Like, I was heated, y'all. I was heated. I was heated. I was heated. I was really mad. So the next thing you know, me and she was like downstairs with the floor where I was standing. I was on the floor. And I'm just like, nice son, you want to get on the floor because when my dad over here want to push me outside. So everybody just started like watching like what was going on like the neighbors started coming outside so i'm just like girl shut up so me and her we were going back and forth for like 15 20 minutes so me and her boyfriend ended up getting to an argument because i said that she don't she don't her, her boyfriend don't take care of her what she don't i said that she take care of her boyfriend what she do like i don't got a lot about nothing she do like everything that what he wasn't doing so basically you been taking care of the nigga but yeah so then he's 
start coming downstairs and me and him begin to argue. Man, so I'm like, nigga, shut up. Argue with somebody who got balls, nigga. I'm not gonna sit right here and argue with you. You can't even argue with somebody who me and you used to work with. When this boy, when you kept staring at old boy that who didn't like you, boy was telling you shut up and stop looking at him. You didn't even see, bro. When he told you, he said, stop looking at me, bro. You was quiet. You was silent. You didn't do nothing. So where all this energy coming from? Hmm? Well, where all this energy coming from? So yeah. So he didn't even do nothing. Like he was really embarrassing. And so it was two dudes was basically was clowning skeletal with dreads or whatever. He over here patting himself like he was looking for something. Next thing you know, they made him clock out early at 5 59, knowing he's supposed to clock out at 6 o'clock on the dot. So I'm just like, you're scary. Like, just say that you're scared. And so the next thing you know, me and Fat Fat, we end up still arguing. So me and her, we're still going back and forth. We've been going back and forth for like 15 to 20 minutes. So she came out and she was just like, okay, I'll wait for you when you get in the house. I said, okay, cool. Please, please, please wait for me. Please wait for me. Like, you don't want who's mad. I'm not. Y'all the one who be plotting. I'm not. You the one who worry about me. I'm not. Like, if I know, <laughs> if I, baby girl, if I was you, I know I'd be mad too. I know I'd be mad too. So me and her, we're still going back and forth for 15, 20 minutes. She gonna come out talking about, my boyfriend take care of me. He take care of me. Yeah, okay. So her boyfriend started running downstairs because my job, he was upstairs in his room. So he started running downstairs talking about, hold on, hold on, hold on. I do take care of her. Well, you the one who be bringing 30 rolls to the house. So I'm just like, I started laughing because that's why I'm just like, for one, you're funny. Y'all been plotting. I know y'all have. And I was just like, if I did brought a 30 roll to the house, I thought I was grown. I'm 18, by the way. But I thought I was grown. It's my business for number one. Two, I wear to deal with a 30-year-old and spare my legs up into 10 different boys. Girl, me and you, we are not the same. We are you not the same. We are you not the same. Yeah, she brought 10 different boys to the house. Boy, get out my face. Are you with someone who got balls, nigga? Because I ain't finna argue with you. Most definitely, I'm not. I don't care. But yeah, I was arguing with him. Like, I sure was. Because it was like, bro, I'm telling y'all, it was like two versus one. And so, um, I'm not finna bad down none of it. Like I said, I'm not scared of her. I'm not scared of his ugly ass. I'm not scared of nobody but God. <laughs> but God. Okay? So, yeah. So, um, they been plotting. So, I'm like, yeah, you got a 30 year old in the house, yada, yada, yada. I got proof. I got proof. I said, okay, show the proof. I was happy when they said that because I want them to say that because I want to know what proof that they see me with a 30 year old. So, like I'm saying, they were just like, yeah, I got proof. I got proof. Man, when she ended up seeing, it was like so called proof. The proof that she had saw my dad was like, um, me and the 30 year old, we was talking freaky, yada, 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 because. Um, me and my ex-boyfriend, we wasn't together at the time because he put his hands on me. So, me and him, we broke up on April 8th. That was our same anniversary. If you haven't seen that, um, a story time, go ahead and, you know, just watch the story time after this video. But, yeah. So, my dad already knew about it because, for number one, he was following me. Two, I tell my dad everything what I'm going through because my dad is my support system. He don't judge me. Like, I would really look at my dad as literally as my best friend because he don't he don't get mad like my dad he don't care for nothing. As long as I tell him like what's been going on, he was like okay cool. Well don't let it happen again yada yada yada. And so um yeah so they seem like they've been plotting or whatever. I was basically was chatting with a thirty year old and so um he had posted screenshots on my story. He had had my page and he posted on my story. You know was trying to embarrass my character. So yeah so um. Next thing you know, my dad already knew about that because, like, my dad was following me at that time. Like, he's all, all he always tell me to do anything that makes me happy. Like, as long as I'm happy, then he's happy. So, yes. Um, how I really made the 30 year old because I used to work with him. And so, um, uh, me and him, we, uh, I used to work with him at the time. And, like, when I first met him, like, I was on that, like, you know, that friendly because I didn't know him. Yada, yada, yada. So, I say, like, five or six days later, I started, like, feeling his vibe, his personality because, like, he was chill. He's really laid back. Like, I really, like, like his personality and his vibe. So, me and him, we exchanged, like, you know, social medias, which is Instagram. So, me and him, we was, like, um, so, like, two weeks later, me and him, we started texting on Instagram. So, he already know about the situation between me and my ex, but he was checking up on me. So, he said that he wanted to take me out sometime or he, you know, wanted to chill with me. And, you know, like, just vibe. So I'm just like, um, so I asked him, I was just like, how old are you? And he was like, 30. And I was like, whoa, 
And he was like, what? And I was just like 18 or like 30 with an 18 year old because I'm just like, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I just felt like I was like, it was like, I don't know. I just felt very embarrassed at the time with it. Like, I just, mm hmm. And so, when my ex had seen the screenshot because he was jealous about it, he ended up, you know, posting the screenshots on um you know on my instagram so my dad has seen it and plus i'm always open to my dad like i told y'all i always tell my dad anything it's like as long as i'm like not trying to my mind's not on sex and i say i'm not because i am a virgin i know how to keep my lids closed yeah so then um next thing you know me and fat fat uh, um skeleton we still going back and forth yada 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 so they were just like yeah you brought a 30 year old in that house like you 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 deal with 30 year olds i said so and i said so i mean like yeah for number one like i thought i was legal i thought i was 18 like i can do whatever i want to as long as my mind's not sitting right here spreading my legs open then i'm good but at the end of the day i rather deal with a 30 year old just spreading my legs open to 10 different boys so like i said before you even trying to sit right here and trying to think you know everything how about you go to your mama tell her how you was bringing 10 different boys to the house? Ain't no telling what you was doing with them. Like, ain't no telling. Because you wait until my dad either go to sleep or his room door shut for you to sit right here and want to bring all them 10 guys in the house. And yes, I was there. I was there with one of them. Like, it was like me, her, and my ex and two different boys. And she was smoking weed eating edibles and drinking Hennessy. I was only a one edible. And then it was just like me... I don't like to be around people like who smoke weed, who eat edibles, like who drink. Like I, I drink, but not too much. But it was like her, she was drinking like half of the bottle of Hennessy, and I don't even know these boys, so I'm not gonna sit right here finna be drink. Uh, I'm not finna be you know drunk or hot around them because I don't know them. So I left the room because I was very uncomfortable with it. So yeah. So like I said, before you sit right here and trying to judge anything what I'm doing, how about you sit right here and just let your mom know that y'all you was bringing ten different boys to the house. Oh, okay. All right, all right, but yeah. So the next thing you know, um, a neighbor just still like you know was looking at us, yada yada yada, because the door was real open, and like I'm over here outside, like come on, come on. So me and her, we were still arguing for like 15, 20 minutes. So I, uh, I believe I told y'all that she had a dress on. If I didn't, then I'm just gonna tell y'all again. She had a dress on, and I had a hoodie, a black hoodie. I had some locks, I had some jeans, and I had some socks on. So, she was talking about, okay, I'll wait for you. I said, okay, please do. Please do, love, because I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of your nigga. I'm not scared of, I'm not scared of nobody but God, baby girl. I ain't scared of nobody but God. So, I, I was like, okay, please do. Please wait for me. So, the next thing you know, she started going upstairs. I guess she started changing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the next thing you know, my dad, he told me to go back inside because, you know, the, um, the argument was like it was done so then that's the you know when, soon, when i went inside the house i looked to my right and i put my shoes on because i already knew i was gonna be rubbing it with um fat fat because she said she was gonna wait for me so i said okay so then me and my dad and my brother we was in a circle we were still talking about the situation of the third year old he said he did not believe fat fat because she did not have enough proof to show him that i bought a third year old man in the house and i was like right i said if you Proof is like when you sit right here and say that you saw a third year old in a house, like meaning of if you see him in a house, you could have snapped a picture or you could have recorded him to be like, hey, are you aware that a man is inside the house? Yada yada yada. And if I did bought a third year old, a third year old inside the house, why you let my dad know right right away? Why you had why you why you had to wait to why do you have to take us to take me? Oh my god, I don't know how to say this, but. Why does it have to take for me and you to get some argument for you to sit right here and say I had bought a third year old in the house? Make it make sense. So yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like how 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 you graduated for um how you graduated and you're still being dumb? Like what? Not being dumb, but how well I guess I don't know if you're if you're dumb or you're still being dumb. Like it just don't make sense. It it doesn't. But yeah. So he was just like he didn't he didn't believe her because there was not enough proof to show him and I was just like right and I was just like I said they've been plotting obviously and he was like shoot and he said I'm not even worried about that because you're grown you can do whatever you want to do you can do anything that makes you happy and I was like work so the next day you know um she come and tiptoe downstairs usually we can hear her because how loud her you know like feet like we can hear people coming downstairs with a mid feet like not just only her it can be anybody so she started tiptoeing downstairs. 
And next thing you know, she's sneaking behind my dad. So um, when I see her run to me, I say, boop. Next thing you know, um, she ended up stop pulling my hair. So I pulled her hair because Aaron wasn't fighting. So she had some, she had like an oversized t-shirt, shorts, and some socks on. When, when I'm looking at her, I'm just like, girl, I know you did not just come downstairs with some, with some slippery socks on. Knowing that how floor how slippery how slippery the floor is, like that's the it gives me that you you can't fight by because you could at least put some shoes on like I did, make it make sense. So then next thing you know, um uh, she ended up put like pulling my hair. We all fell to the ground. So another reason or the, like she can't fight. Another reason why I said she can't fight because when we all on the ground, she's not trying to. She not trying to. Do, none of that excuse me she's not trying to beat the mario coins out of me she's not trying to do none of that shorty sitting right here laying down with my hair she's like this with my hair like she's not trying to beat my head in so i'm just like okay cool you're really easy okay cool you're easy so then that's the you know she just laying down with my hair so like i'm just starting to be in her face saying like because my own what my dad or my brother was holding my arm and then uh i'm just started being her you know her face in so her man just standing right there enjoying the fight so i guess that how he see how badly i was being fat that up he came behind me and started holding both of my arms so i'm just like okay 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 all right you want to play on fair game. She not going to do nothing because why you holding both my arms, she still wasn't like being a Mario Kart. I mean, she wasn't doing nothing. She was still pulling my hair. So then next thing you know, I looked at him because my head, my arm, no, my head was like this and both of my arms behind my back. So I looked at him. I was just like, if you don't let me go, I said, I'm going to swing on your ass. When I say that, y'all, at 2.5 seconds, this boy let me go. So I'm just like, one, one, no wonder that. Both of y'all made a good couple because y'all are so scary, bro. You sit right here and just let me punk you out like that? Like, what? what? <laughs> I'm sorry, but what? So, when I look back, he looking at me like this. So, I just started laughing because it was just so funny. And, like, as that, before that, he had came behind me and put, like, hold him with my arm. My face was literally between, um... It was between fat, fat legs. So basically, my face was literally suffocating to her vagina. Her vagina and her legs was basically su suffocating me because she had her own fat thighs around my um neck, and her um my face was like between her um uh, vagina. I wanted to bite it, but at the same time, then because I didn't want to make her think because I th for one it was like. Okay, one reason why I didn't want to buy her vagina because when I move on, I don't want her to think that, you know, we reason why that I didn't like her or I didn't want her to make her think make her think that um I want to eat her vagina, yada yada yada. So no, that's why I don't like her. Like, no, I'm not on that. I'm not on the type of level with females. I'm not on that. So that's one. Two, um, I was scared if I would like buy her vagina, I was scared that she might probably end up like yanking my locks, but I don't know. I I don't know what she. Mm, mm, mm. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah. So uh, next thing you know, he came around me and he just started holding both of my arms. So I looked at him. I told him. I said, um, you let me. If you don't let me go, I'm gonna swing on your ass. So he let me go. And so then um. I just started laughing because it was just so funny because it was just like, dang, you gonna let me poke you like that? So I'm pretty sure he was just like, dang, yeah, let me go ahead and let, let her go because I see how bad she beating my girlfriend up. So yeah, I don't want to, you know, be in that mixture as well too because I ain't gonna hold y'all. If he let me go, when I was finished done with that fact, I was really gonna run to um, Skeleton. I was gonna really gonna, man, I was gonna really gonna beat his face in. I was I was not playing. So then that's it, you know. Um, oh yeah, so then that's it, you know. Uh, what happened? So... Oh, uh, my dad and my brother were still trying to break her up, like, you know, for her to let my hair go. So, finally, when they, like, you know, starting to get her to let my hair go. So, um, they was like, okay, Jemai, she let your hair go. So, let her hair go. <laughs> you think I let her hair go? No, because you're sitting right here. Ain't no rules of fighting. So, if you want to pull my hair, I'm going to do you badly. So, um, I'm sitting, when, when I had her hair, I just thought, yeah, pulling her and yanking her over here when I'm at. So, she was in a dark position. So, she was crawling to me. I was like, yeah. Come here, girl. Come here. So, yeah, I was just doing all that. So, I was just like, yeah, come on. Come on. Because I, I, I really had a grip right here, but I wanted to snatch her a ball. Like, I promise you I wanted to snatch her a ball because I just want her to get a lesson. 
stop running up on these females knowing that they're gonna do you like dirty you just doing all this because you think that you that, that you really about it but baby girl you're not you know you're not so pipe down humble yourself so yeah so um she just started calling to me and so they finally let me go so she over here um they broke they finally broke up the fight and so she come over to me tell me girl come home come home you're scary i'll start laughing because i'm just like girl, i just beat you up and i know you mad because you got that knot on your face she got a knot right here and she got a scratch on her eye she got a knot right here and she got a scratch on her eye so yeah so i just like girl i know you mad i said i said girl i know you're mad so yeah i said that's thing you know she over here trying to come to me and then my dad over here holding her back while her boobs coming out of her shirt yada yada i'm just starting to laugh it. so my brother over here pushed me to a corner i'm over here popping my stuff on him because i'm just like yo in a fight don't ever ever in your life push me to the corner because i was just like for one she can get her easy cool in. that's not fair don't do that so then that thing you know so she over here um still trying to break free from my dad so then that's thing you know she over here struggling with the front door because she's trying to meet me in front and like to the back door so you know me, me and her you know begin rumble again and so then my dad he was over here talking about where are you going what are you, what are you trying to do so he got fed up and he threw her like like to the stairs yeah 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 so she ended up going upstairs talking about i'm done so i'm just like <laughs> What, what you mean what you talking about i mean like are, are you done fighting or, or or like you're leaving the house like because she was trying to, she was trying to keep me out the house like she wanted me out the house but i end up pulling the oh no reverse card on her ass because i'm just like girl no you thought you were gonna try to pull me out the house it felt like a baggers club experience man i tell y'all it felt like a baggers club experience like when one day we didn't like each other we over here doing like petty you know things towards each other and this thing you know we fighting and then that same night she and uh, went to a hotel or my probably to skeleton sister's the house so yeah I mean, you'll get enough of running up so um i'm pretty sure this is the end of the video um yeah so one thing i want to say about the 30 year situation i mean i wouldn't care i'm gonna sit right here and um judge me because at the end of the day like as long as i'm happy i'm doing thing when i'm happy I do not want to mess with somebody that's my age, meaning of like 18 or 19 or my probably 20, 21. I don't think I, no. I'm probably like 18 or 19. I don't want to like talk to somebody who is my age or like as like, you know, dating. Because when I'm one, my ex-boyfriend, he was 19 at the time and he was sitting right here putting his hands on me. He was sitting right here, turning around when I exposed my nudes on Instagram. And I was just like, that was dope because like at the end of the day, we're grown. So why, why are you sitting right here posting my news on Instagram? You're mad because I broke up with you because you're the one who put your hands on me? Like, that doesn't make sense. But okay. So, yeah. So, that's why I don't want to deal with somebody of the same age as me or, like, 19-year-olds because, like, they very childish. They toxic. They, like, abusive. And I just don't want to deal with nobody, like, who's something like him. So, yeah. That's why I just, like, talking to, like, my probably, like, 20-year-old, like, 20 and up. I don't know. But yeah, so I mean I understand it was like 40. No, I would not talk to nobody who's like 40 and up because that that's that's too far. But no. But like 20 and to 30, that, that's okay with me. Um yeah, so um this is the end of the video. If you really enjoyed the story time, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Also make sure you go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't pop every video that I will be posting. Also, make sure you go ahead and follow my Instagram so you be seeing more of me watch this camera. And I love y'all very much i will really be making a q and a so y'all can really get to know me because i don't want y'all to think that i'm a fighter like i don't really think fighters kill but i'm sorry to say but sometimes you're gonna have to handle somebody my supporters that what's been going on for the past of what six or seven months that's been happening i'm pretty sure but yeah so um yeah um i'm pretty sure they don't even know who you are they don't know who i'm talking about so yeah humble yourself down so yes um so um yeah that's really it so my message to you fat fat is that i wish nothing the but the, i just wish nothing but the best for you like i just hope that you just stay out of trouble and just know how to mind your business and not sit right here like you know trying to think you about it because we know that you're not and just don't be run up on the wrong person because i'm promise you i'm just gonna tell you this like i mean you'll get enough of running up you will so yes uh i'll see y'all next video i love y'all i'll see you in my next video i don't know why i'm trying to keep saying that but yeah i love y'all remove all that negativity and spirit 
<laughs> put them all that negativity spirit away from you because you don't need nothing that you only need something that's positive for my you need something that's gonna lift you up support you and yeah do the same things well too i love y'all i'll see you in my next video bye